Amaji medals um, earlier this week, which is a uh, bullion uh, vendor of precious metals, uh, gold and silver and stuff like that. They announced that they aren't going to accept um, dollars anymore as payment, directly at least, for their precious metals um, starting in, uh, you know, early 2017 or late 2016. Uh, because they have lost faith in um, in fiat currency, uh, thanks to quantitative easing, like we mentioned earlier, and inflation by the Fed. So they're not going to accept dollars in, within a couple years. Instead, what they're going to do is they are um, what is it? They're they're going to make like an exchange on their on their website that allows people to buy cryptocurrency with their fiat first. And then use the cryptocurrency to buy the gold uh, from Amaji Metals, and then Amaji gets crypto instead of instead of fiat for their for the metals. That's kind of an interesting idea, right? Yeah, they're not really refusing to accept fiat, right? Because uh, they're they're just saying you can't you can give us fiat, but you have to buy crypto from us first before you can buy gold. They're they're basically just introducing um, an intermediary in between, uh, in between the cryptocurrency and the gold. Like, uh, if you if you have fiat, you can trade it for crypto, then get gold. So, it's kind of like a it's like a reverse payment processor, right? Like a reverse BitPay or reverse yeah. Coinbase. Yeah. So, um, they're still going to be accepting fiat. They're just making you do an extra step before you can buy gold from them. It's basically, it's basically, well, one first and foremost, it's a marketing ploy. Uh, they want to be, you know, the first business that says we've lost all faith in the dollar, so we're no longer accepting it. And that two, gets them a lot of press in the libertarian and, yeah, and community. Like, yeah, right? and and two, um, it's a way to spread awareness of crypto because if you got, if you have this website that makes you buy a cryptocurrency before you can buy gold, then that's going to be um, potentially a lot of new people, uh, you know, learning, learning about, about cryptocurrency crypto, yeah. who otherwise wouldn't. Because you know, a, lot of, a lot of the people in the, in the, on the gold markets, um, they, they either haven't heard of cryptocurrency, uh, and if they have, they think it's a scam. Or, you know, they're like Peter funny, Schiff. They don't, it's funny money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monopoly money. So it could, it's definitely, if it ends up working like how they're expecting it to, it would, you know, spread awareness. Yeah, it's a really interesting idea. And, you know, if, if they can, if they can make that like, a, like an API or something, the, the like exchanging fiat to coins before making your purchase thing, like that, you know, That'd be interesting for other people to use as well. Um, like, what if what if a lot of businesses adopted that model where they don't want to accept any dollars at all? You know, they don't even want to bother um, buying bitcoins or whatever with 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 their profits that came in dollars. You know, they just they just want to get all income in crypto. And if there's a way to do that easily and make it easy for for the customer as well, make it easy for fiat customers to basically give you crypto instead for your product that could be a pretty um you know revolutionary maybe uh, at least interesting idea um for merchants to you know crypto loving merchants to get crypto basically from customers who wouldn't otherwise be paying in crypto yeah i might use this the, at some point it pump up the bitcoin price too uh yeah. like it, it it would have to be this method would have to be used by you know lots of companies because Amaji Metals isn't um, probably isn't big enough to you know have a substantial effect on the Bitcoin price. But if you had a bunch of companies that implemented this kind of exchange, where you had to um, buy crypto from an from like a mini exchange hosted on their website before you could buy their products. Um, you know that would obviously drive the price up because you'd have a lot more people buying Bitcoin. Like, imagine if, yeah. if Overstock did that. Like, if Overstock did that, if they said you have to buy Bitcoin before you can buy any of our products, you yeah. know that that would be a lot of one of two things would happen. A lot of people would start buying Bitcoin and the price would go way up, or Overstock customers would just go to Amazon. 
But, right. You know, yeah. Hopefully... They'd have to make it really easy for the customers to not turn them away. Yeah. Like we like we would hope that we would have a lot more people buying Bitcoin, but you know, could always backfire. Right. Yeah. It's it's hard to force people to you know adopt like a different payment system because um, they'll just leave and go somewhere else. There's a lot of yeah. options on the internet now. They don't have to use Overstock if they don't want to. Yeah, but it's definitely an interesting idea. I'm excited to see how it plays out. 